In this video, we will calculate the next four iterations using the Illinois method. And so let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is use the function f of x. I will plug in 0 and I will also plug in 3. And in doing so, if I plug in 0 here, 0 squared is 0 minus 5. And so I would get minus 5. I plug in 3, I get 9. 9 minus 5 would be 4. And so we want this to equal to 0. We want to know what value of x would we get 0. So if you notice, this is negative and this is positive. So some number in between this function, we would get 0. Um, it could be you know, 1, it could be 2. It would be some number in between 0 and 3. And so now the next step that we will do is use this first formula. So we got x0, we got x1. We want the next four iterations, meaning we want x2, x3, x4, and x5. And so now you may say, when do we use this formula and when do we use this formula? And as we go through this problem, you will know when to use the two. So let's do it. So first we will get x2. To get x2, we use this first formula. x2 is equal to. So in order to get x2, I'm essentially saying that i is 1. Can I do that? If I say i is 1, this would be 1. We know it. This would be 1. We know it. 1, we know it. 0, we know it. 1, we know it. And 0, we know it. So we would know everything for x2. So let's do that. So x, x1 minus f parentheses x1 times x1 minus, you know, x1 minus 1, so x0, f, f x1 minus f x0, like this. And once we have it in this form, we simply plug in what we have based off of this. So x1 was 3 minus f x1 was 4 times we have 3 minus 0 divided by 4 minus parentheses minus 5, like this. And this right here would equal 1.667. This is the first iteration. And now we need to know what is fx2, the function fx2. So I, I will plug this number back into the function, meaning 1.667 squared minus 5 and we would get negative 2.222 and so now once we have this there's a formula that we need to know we say f x1 times f x2 in our case f x1 was 4 and f x2 was negative 2.22 the number itself is not important. The main thing is, is it greater than zero or less than zero? So positive four times a negative number would give us something that's less than zero. And so for the next step, we continue to use this first equation. However, if this was greater than zero, we would use this equation. But you know, eventually we will get to a point where we will have to use this equation. And so it might make more sense then. So now we want to get the second iteration. So second iteration would be just one more. So 2 becomes 3, 1 becomes 2, and then 0 becomes 1. So x2 minus f x2, simply this, I'm just adding 1, times x2 minus x1 divided by f x2 minus f x1 like this. Um, from here, I plug in the uh, numbers that we got. So x2 was 1.667 minus fx2 was negative 2.222 times x2 minus x1. So 1.667 minus 3 divided by negative 2.222 minus parentheses 4, like this. 
um, using a calculator, this would be 2.143. We box in this answer. And now we will need to do this step here. And so I say fx3. fx3 would give us, you know, 2.143 squared minus 5. And we would get negative 0 0.4076. And so, and so now we say f x three times f x two. So three and two. Last one was two and one. This is three and two. So three was negative, and two was also negative. So it's going to be greater than zero. And so now we use the second equation, which is the Illinois approximation, for the third iteration. So let's do that. And just to recap, if this is greater than zero, we use this equation here. Almost the same thing, except we have a one half here. This is one equation, this is the second equation. Second equation, one more step, it's just a one half here. So let's do that. So we say x4 is equal to x3 minus fx3 times um, x3 minus x2 divided by fx3 and because this is greater than 0 minus 1 half of fx2. Now we simply plug in what we had based off of this information so 2.143 minus parentheses uh, negative 0 0.4076 times um, x3, so we had 2.143 minus 1.667 divided by negative 0 0.4076 minus 1 half parentheses negative 2.222 like this. And when we plug this into a calculator, we would get 2.419. And so this right here is the third iteration. And just to, just to like really make this clear, we'll do one more iteration. So again, we need to plug in x4 into the function. So function um, x4, we would ultimately get 0 0.8507. Um, the function fx3 was negative. So we can say this, function x4 times function x3 this was positive, this was negative, therefore this will be less than zero. So back to the first equation. And so the fourth iteration will look something like this. x5 is equal to x4 minus fx4 times x4 minus x3 divided by fx4 minus f x3 like this if you notice no one half because this was less than zero and now we write what we have so 2.419 minus 0 0.8507 times 2.419 minus 2.143 divided by 0 0.8 507 minus parentheses minus 0 0.4076 like this. We plug this right here into a calculator and we would get 2.232. Now we want to ask, is this a pretty good approximation? We did four iterations. Um, using a calculator, I can see what the exact value would be. So let's do that. So I'll plug in my TI Inspire CX costs and I will write down the equation. So we hit menu, algebra, solve. We had x squared minus five is equal to zero, comma x. Uh, we want an approximation of this, so control, enter. And we get 2.236. So what we got using four iterations was 2.232. So this is approximately 0.004 off. So it's really good approximation. And that's all we need to do to solve this problem using the Illinois method.